What is up, everyone? This is K with Skywolf Game Studios, and let's just dive right in. Let's go. Okay, so previously, like two weeks ago, I posted this video where you could generate 3D models with Blender AI Library Pro. That is an add-on specifically for inside of Blender that costs a couple bucks, and I think it's worth it. Um, but what if you can't afford it? What if you don't want to spend the money? Well, there's a free alternative, and it's called Trellis. So where is it? How do we use it? Well, what I want you to do is open up your favorite web browser and open up a new tab. And what you need to do is search for Trell. God, I can't spell. It's 3D. Okay. And the first one up here is this trellis3dgithub.io. Go ahead and click that one. I'm in dark mode, by the way. That's why my screen is dark instead of white. Protect my eyes. I strongly recommend it. Okay, so here's some examples. You can scroll down and see these as well. What you want, don't worry about anything. What you want to do is click, go over here and click demo on the far right. And this will take you to Hugging Face. You don't need an account, but you can create one if you want. And here's some more examples. And this is Trellis right here, free to use. You can also use it on your phone, by the way. I'll show you that in a moment. What I want you to do is you can either go to like pixabay.com or just use an AI and generate something. We're gonna look up car Mario, I think I like, let's see if we can find, I think this is probably a really good one right here. Um, but anyway, so let's, let's just go back. Let's go back up top to, let's try with the background there's a reason why i'm cho choosing the one with the background you'll see why anyway so what we want to do is right click thank you alexis and just copy image and go back over here in the trellis and then on the right here if you download that image you can just click this upload button on the left here but because i copied and pasted the image we can just click this button over here and your browser might ask for permission and uh, just allow it. Um, I didn't, I've already done it, so I'm not gonna even worry about it. And that's why it pasted it here. And as you can see, it removed the background. So now you have your image ready for your um, 3D model generation. And you can click multiple images, but I'm just using single as an example and you can play around with the various generation settings. I'm just going to use the defaults just in case you're not happy with how it looks and just click generate. And right away, it's going to start generating the 3D asset. Over here, it's counting down the estimate and then up to the for processing. And you see this normal map like uh, mesh data on the right here, and then this is your 3D model. So where is the 3D model? Well, what you need to do is you have to decide if you want a Gaussian splat or a GLB. The GLB is the th 3D model that we want. So extract GLB. Defaults should be fine, but you can adjust them under here if you need to. And it's going to start processing that. This will take a little longer. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and open up Blender and make sure that looks good. We don't want anything in here. I'm just gonna delete it all because I don't care about that. And let's flip back over here, it's almost done. And here is our 3D model. Um, you can see it's not quite perfect like the hand it seems to struggle a bit with some stuff, but that's still actually really good, especially for being for free. So now all we do is download the GLB. 
It's going to name it sample. And we just open up that in our downloads. And we just call this Mario. Just rename that. I'm just going to close the sidebar over here. Let's go look at it in Blender. How do we get it in here? Well, we go over here to File, Import, and then the bottom one right here, GLB. Go to Downloads and just scroll down. There's Mario. And default settings should be fine. Let's go ahead and import that. And there he is. And he may look a little weird. That's okay. Um, just click on him and then right click and go smooth. And if you press Z and uh, switch to material view, you can see the colors are there. So there's your Mario. You can go ahead and rig him and auto with Auto Rig Pro or AccuRig from Real Illusion and throw them into Unreal Engine and you're ready to rock and roll. There's plenty of tutorials. I'll probably make a tutorial and do that, but right now this is just to show you that you can create free 3D models using AI. Let's try another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop over into let's go ahead, let's go ask Copilot. So let's do generate a Chaco Lab cartoon character. Let's see what this gives us. I don't know if I'm gonna like what it gives me. That works. I'm gonna, let's see what happens. Let's try it. I'm gonna download that. And let's just upload that and see what we get. So, downloads. Open. There's our image. It's gonna start processing. I don't know if this is gonna be good, but we're gonna try it. See, that's not too bad. That's a lot. That's a better result than what I was expecting. Because sometimes when there's stuff in the back, it might get picked up. The cool thing that I like about this is it tries to generate the backside based on the front, which is really nice. Um, you might have to do a little bit of work, but not too bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and generate. And there's our 3D asset right there. That's actually pretty good as well. Huh. And let's go ahead and extract the GLB. Just gonna hop back over here. Let's see, I'm just going to go to mesh data. Let's... Why does it do that? I'm going to call this one SM Mario. I'm not quite sure why it throws it under world, but that's just how the GLBs work for some reason. Okay. So there's our chocolate cartoony lab. Obviously, that would need fixed on the back of the head, but that's actually really freaking cool. There's our dog for our cartoon game. And let's go ahead and download that. Open up that. F2. Chocolate lab. I have a chocolate lab, by the way. That's where that idea came from. And let's go ahead and import it. Okay, here's Mario. To file, import, GLB, downloads, chocolate lab. And there's our chocolate lab and Mario. 
Look at that. If you want to clean these up a little bit further, um, because if you look at the geometry, it looks a little weird. So what I would suggest is just tapping and then going to mesh and then clean up, delete loose. There shouldn't be any loose. And then do it one more time, merge by distance. And I always personally like to bump this up to 0.2. 0.0002, just bump that up one, and I'll remove a bunch of the extra um, verts that are in there that aren't really necessary. Be careful how high you go, otherwise it will start to destroy the texture. And if we tab back out, you can actually see that's a little cleaner. It doesn't have these weird little edges and whatnot. But that's, all right, so just go back into material. See, actually looks a little cleaner, so that's actually pretty good. Um, all right, so over here, this is my phone being mirrored, and you can actually, like I said, use this on your phone. So, like, you're out to dinner with some friends and whatnot, and you be like, oh, yeah, I remembered this idea I had for a 3D model. Let's try it out. Well, you can. You don't have to wait to go. Control is 3D. And just find it. Go here. Just click on demo. And as you can see, you can actually use it from here as well. So let's do this. Let's go to pixabay.com. Tune robot. Um, I think that one's perfect right there. Um, Okay, let's go paste. I've only played around with this a little bit, but from what I am seeing so far, these are very, very astounding results and really, really good in my opinion. So it's better to jump on this bus and start learning this stuff now. Okay, let's go ahead and generate. It's going to tell you this warning. You can just ignore it. Just make sure you stay on here. Do not tab out to anything else while it's doing this. Because then it will cancel this out. And now there's your 3D asset that's generated. Let's go ahead and extract the GLB. Well, obviously, on your phone, it's going to take a little longer. I think that's a great do. And then there is our 3D model on our phone, and we can just download that. It's going to ask you to download it. And then you can just copy that into your computer and whatnot. But that's proof that you can use it on your phone, which a lot of people I don't think realize. And so you can take Trellis and create your 3D model ideas on the road, which is really, really awesome. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe if you stuck around. You can also check out my Patreon. I'm going to download and add all these project files 
into my Patreon supporter tier where you can download them as a thank you for supporting me. Or let me know if you have any other ideas of things you would like to see. We'll be looking at other AI stuff in 2025 because AI seems to be the wave of the future. And that's why I'm trying to help you guys as I learn about this stuff as well. So it's a win-win situation. Um, anyway, you guys have a fantastic week. And I'll see you next time.